morning. Welcome to Coffee with Pastor. What a beautiful morning. And I understand today is supposed to be a beautiful day up into the mid-70s. Um, should be a wonderful, wonderful day. And this is Coffee with Pastor. I trust you have your cup of coffee with you this morning and you have your copy of the Word of God open. It is always our desire that you would open up your copy of the Word of God. Follow along with us as we read and Lord willing, um, we will have the opportunity not only to read it together, but throughout this day to be able to meditate on the Word of God. And I do want to take the opportunity to say thank you for joining us on this beautiful, beautiful day. And I trust that your day is already getting started on a very, very positive note. And it is our desire that today only gets better from this point on as we get started. Let's turn our attention to the bad dad joke. I used to play the piano by ear, but now I use my hands. Okay, we will put that one away. We will forget that even happened and trust that your day gets better literally from this point on and that you will be enjoying your day. Uh, again, I trust you have your copy of the Word of God open to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 11. That is where we will be reading in just a few moments. And as I'm looking at the clock, it is nearly nine o'clock. And so let's go ahead. Let's begin to turn our hearts, turn our minds, our prayers toward heaven. Let's pray together. Glorious Father, good morning. We thank you for the opportunity that we have to start our day with your word, to start our day at your throne. And Father, we do want to ask your blessing upon today. We pray that the things that we find ourselves involved in, the things that we are doing, that we would recognize it as an opportunity to serve you an opportunity to worship you in our day-to-day -day activities as we seek to do everything, everything for your honor and for your glory. Father, I do want to pray again for your blessings upon each person who joins us today. Guide them, direct them. Father, we pray that you would direct their actions and reactions to the events of this day. Father, I pray that we would understand that this world and everything that happens, it's about you. It's about your program, and you in your goodness have allowed us to have a part. So, Father, thank you. We do pray, indeed, that our lives would count for your honor and glory. We do pray that the things that we find ourselves doing would matter for eternity. Father, the people we come into contact with, may our lives point them to Jesus Christ. May our words direct them to the truth. Father, I pray that you would use us to literally change people's eternal destiny. Father, again, use us. Use us how you see fit, wherever you see fit. Thank you, Father, for the opportunity of opening up your word this morning. We pray that throughout this day, not just during coffee with pastor, but throughout this day, we would meditate, we would think about, consider the things that we read. And Lord, may your spirit be our teacher to know the meaning, to know the application of your word to our hearts and lives. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for each one that joins us, the blessing they are to us. Now, Father, again, that you would be pleased with each and every one of us. Thank you, Father. We ask this in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. Jeremiah, book of Jeremiah and chapter 11. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, 
Hear ye the words of this covenant, and speak unto the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant, which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, from the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice, and do them according to all that I command you, so shall ye be my people, and I will be your God. That I may perform the oath which I have sworn under your fathers, to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, as it is this day. Then answered I and said, So be it, O Lord. Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and do them. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined their ear, but walked every one in the imagination of their evil heart. Therefore, I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do. But they did not them. And the Lord said unto me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words. And they went after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I have made with their fathers. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Then said the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense, but they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. For according to the number of thy cities were thy gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem have ye set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. Therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or a prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. What hath my beloved to do in mine house, seeing she hath wrought lewdness with many, and the holy flesh is passed from thee? When thou doest evil, then thou rejoicest. The Lord called thy name, a green olive tree, fair and of goodly fruit, with the noise of a great tumult, he hath kindled fire upon it, and the branches of it are broken. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee hath pronounced evil against thee. For the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves, to provoke me to anger in offering incense unto Baal. And the Lord hath given me knowledge of it, and I know it. Then thou showest me their doings. But I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to the slaughter. And I knew not that they had devised devices against me, saying, Let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof, and let us cut him off from the land of the living, that his name may be no more remembered. But, O Lord of hosts, that judgest righteously, that triest the reins in the heart, let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee have I revealed my cause. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of the men of Anathoth, that seek thy life, saying, Prophesy not in the name of the Lord, that thou die not in, by our hand. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them, the young men shall die by the sword, their sons and their daughters shall die 
shall die by famine, and there shall be no remnant of them. For I will bring evil upon the men of Anathoth, even the year of their visitation. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. I am amazed that Jeremiah, a man who is dedicated, determined to be obedient to God and to proclaim God's word, whatever it was, whatever it meant. And because the people didn't like the word of the Lord, they killed or they sought to kill God's messenger. Anybody who comes to you and says, you know what, the Christian life or following God, being obedient to God is easy. They don't know what they're talking about. In fact, the Christian life may be more difficult than the life in the flesh. But then again, we're serving the God of the universe. And what is it that is not worth our devotion to him in all things? Again, we like to mention the word faithfulness. Be faithful to God regardless of the cost. Be faithful to God. And never, never allow yourself to become the excuse by which others might turn away from Christ. Beloved, remember that God loves you, and so do we. Until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.